This is how a narcissist feels every day when you leave and never come back. Greetings, amazing individuals. Join us for another insightful episode where we delve into the intricate emotional terrain of dealing with a narcissist when you assert your needs, prioritize self-care, and make the decision to move on. But before we dive into this captivating discussion, I invite you to become a subscriber to our channel. By subscribing, you assure that you stay informed about our upcoming videos, updates, and exciting developments. Let's get started. Have you ever pondered what goes on inside the minds of narcissists? There's a prevalent belief that their departure is inconsequential, because they always seem to find new sources of validation, suggesting an apparent lack of concern for your departure. Contrary to this notion, leaving a narcissist is not just an exit. It's a pivotal step toward a new beginning. By disengaging from the narcissist, you actively prioritize your own well-being. Join us by subscribing now to stay connected as we delve into these facets and more in today's episode. Nevertheless, the departure of an individual can inflict suffering upon narcissists, subjecting them to a challenging and painful experience. It is crucial, however, not to reconsider or return to a narcissistic relationship, providing them with another opportunity. The decision to leave a narcissist may indeed be accompanied by emotional pain, but it does not justify a second thought. At times, you may grapple with the idea of not wanting to leave them in pain, but it is essential to recognize that they have caused you hurt and shattered the foundation of your relationship. Your departure is a consequence of prioritizing yourself, seeking freedom, and embracing happiness over the toxic status quo. In numerous instances, the narcissist may genuinely appear shocked by your decision to leave. Their reaction might manifest as changing the access code to your life, severing all ties, and imposing a strict no-contact approach to regain control over your life and space. Upon discovering your absence, narcissists may undergo devastation, grappling with hurt and pain. Some may even become pathologically fixated on your departure, experiencing emotional turmoil and denial as they confront the reality of your decision. In the face of your departure, they descend into disbelief, articulating sentiments such as, I can't believe they did this. A common response is to place blame on you, asserting that you never loved them, accompanied by questioning, how could you leave me? They might even go so far as to declare that everyone they know has abandoned them, adding a touch of indignation with, how dare you? In the aftermath, narcissists wrestle with feelings of loss and desertion, undergoing genuine pain. It's essential to acknowledge that even if some narcissists quickly find a new partner, it doesn't erase their lingering affections for you. The ability of narcissists to date again, while still harboring feelings for their ex, is a complex dynamic. While they may enjoy their new companion, a part of them may continue to miss you. Rushing into a new relationship as a way of burying the past often proves futile, as they haven't processed the emotions from their previous connection. Navigating their emotional path, narcissists undergo a turbulent mix of feelings similar to anyone else facing a breakup. In contemporary society, Individuals who have been left and quickly found new partners often display emotional distress. Despite outward appearances, their swift transition to new partners often originates from internal pain. It's crucial to emphasize that presenting this information is not intended to induce guilt or imply a return to such relationships. The message is clear. It is not a signal to go back. These terms should be exclusively understood in this context, with a strong emphasis on not returning. My statements should not be misconstrued. Do not go back to them, I repeat. Maintain your composure and stand resolute. The reaction from those left behind usually involves blame and suppression as they grapple with the shock of your departure. This triggers a cascade of emotions, including uncertainty, guilt, and anger. Their emotional journey is tumultuous, and comprehending the reasons behind your departure becomes a challenging task for them. They may find themselves pondering, I don't understand why they left, unable to grasp the choices you made. When their attempts to induce guilt prove ineffective, their anger swiftly flares up, leading to an intense fixation on the unfolding events. This rage and obsession can escalate to extreme levels. It's vital to acknowledge that, amid this display of anger and obsession, they are simultaneously formulating a contingency plan. They strategize for the potential of your rejection and prepare for a possible return. A narcissist always has backup measures in place, which may involve persistent communication. They might continuously reach out to you, make uninvited visits to your home, inundate you with letters or calls, 
and exhibit irrational behavior. Their actions extend beyond desperate attempts to stay in contact. Concurrently, they might be forging a new relationship. While obsessively attempting to reconnect with you, they could be initiating a fresh connection with someone else. This dualistic behavior is characteristic of narcissists. They can fixate on you while simultaneously dating someone new. Typical narcissists employ various tactics to ensure they are never left alone, always having a backup plan ready in case their initial strategy fails. Despite their lack of shame, many narcissists go to great lengths to evade feelings of guilt or rejection. They skillfully justify their actions and manipulate reality to suit their narrative. They might assert statements like, I'm moving on because they abandoned me, but I'm not truly leaving, or I won't abandon them. Their readiness to say or do anything to win you back can escalate into obsessive and relentless behavior. When their attempts at guilt-tripping prove ineffective, their anger intensifies. Narcissists can become especially perilous when abandoned by loved ones, as their obsession and fury may pose a threat. Consequently, it's often safer not to explicitly inform a narcissist of your intention to leave. The idea that their world is teetering on the edge of change, coupled with the potential of you finding someone else, can trigger a sense of losing control in narcissists. This can lead to extreme reactions, ranging from violence to a state of disbelief and shock. Narcissists frequently attribute their internal instability and chaos to you, placing blame for their tumultuous emotions. While disconcerting, such reactions are not uncommon among narcissists. It is vital to acknowledge the severe ramifications of dealing with narcissism, as their responses can escalate to the point of pushing you to the brink of life itself. While addressing this reality may be stark, it is necessary, and it's not always crucial to explicitly notify them of your decision to leave. Upon the departure of loved ones, narcissists may grapple with depression. Anxiety and depression are common among narcissists, and they may display indicators of despair. Handling them with care is imperative. Recognizing that dealing with narcissists is a delicate matter. Despite their deceptive and potentially hazardous tendencies, they are individuals with underlying psychological issues influencing their behavior. Following your departure, some narcissists may sink into profound depression, displaying a disconcerting inclination to attribute their emotional state to you. Statements like, I'm so depressed, I can't bear to continue living, should be viewed as warning signs of guilt tripping and emotional manipulation. If you encounter such a situation, it is essential to refrain from personal intervention. Instead, when faced with distressing statements, Consider reaching out to the appropriate authorities, such as the police, suicide prevention hotline, or a local wellness center. Understanding that your direct presence is not necessary for their safety is crucial in ensuring they receive the necessary help. Imagine a situation where you directly involve yourself when a narcissist, whom you've left, contemplates suicide. Consider the potential risks and the likelihood that their distress may pose a threat to you. The abrupt departure may have a profound impact on your family and afterward, the narcissist might even contemplate suicide, a somber aspect that should not be overlooked. While your empathy and concern for others are commendable, it is equally important to extend that kindness to yourself. In such circumstances, opting for a remote health check is a prudent choice. Abandoned narcissists can display unpredictably volatile behavior. Their sincere pleas for your return. Phrases like, my world is over. I can't live without you. I don't want to move on may genuinely convey their emotions. However, it's crucial to understand that desperation doesn't necessarily indicate a sincere desire to change. It might signify their inability to envision life without you or a reluctance to face loneliness. Navigating through this intricate issue demands careful consideration. When you leave a narcissist, their reaction may involve shock, a refusal to contemplate a new relationship or life without you. They might authentically express emotions of passion pleading in despair, saying, I can't live without you. I don't want to be here anymore. While these sentiments are real, they don't necessarily imply a readiness to change or treat you better. Despite their pleas and promises, there may be no improvement in behavior, respect, or treatment. This underscores their struggle to comprehend a life without you and the inherent loneliness it brings. Following a separation, narcissists may encounter desperation and emotional instability. If you have concerns about their mental health or your own safety, be ready to seek assistance. Your well-being and safety should always take precedence. Matters involving children can become notably more intricate. Narcissists might try to manipulate children to cause harm, and unfortunately, 
children often become unintended victims in such situations. The vulnerability of children, coupled with their innocence, makes it tragically unfortunate that they find themselves entangled in circumstances beyond their control. When abandoned, narcissists may go through 7 to 12 phases of grief. In this process, they may engage in bargaining and plead for your return. The fear of being alone can contribute to feelings of depression, prompting them to swiftly pursue new relationships as a way to ward off loneliness while simultaneously attempting to win you back. However, the initiation of a new relationship does not necessarily signal an end to their efforts to reconcile with you. The intricate interplay of their emotions and actions may be perplexing and distressing, but prioritizing your health and peace of mind is of utmost importance. I want to express my heartfelt appreciation for your active engagement with my articles. To each of you who has been part of this journey, your enthusiasm and support have been instrumental in the development of this channel. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Subscribing ensures that you are kept informed about our latest content and contributes to expanding our community. Your subscription holds great significance, both personally to me and to our community, and I cannot thank you enough. Exciting news is on the horizon. I am thrilled to announce that fresh content designed specifically for you is in the works. I am eager to release it and hear your thoughts. Your likes and subscriptions are crucial in promoting the channel and our shared mission. And for that, I extend my sincere gratitude. Lastly, a big thank you for tuning into this video. Your small act of engagement demonstrates your commitment to this channel, and I value your continuous support. Together, we can continue to thrive, learn, reach more individuals, and make a positive impact. Thank you once again.